Ah, Garfield. Who doesn't love them some lasagna-loving fat cat? Based on the comic strip created by Jim Davis, Garfield's been adapted into an animated TV series, as well as several feature films. Yeah, we don't talk about those. The show I'm most familiar with is Garfield and Friends, which ran for seven seasons in the late 80s to early 90s. However, even before that, Garfield appeared in animated form, including an animated short in 1985, Garfield's Halloween Adventure. I don't remember it being on all that much as a kid. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown was definitely more prevalent. But when I did catch it, I remember it scaring the bejesus out of me. This was before I got into slasher movies, before I even knew who Jason and Freddy were, and I have to admit, I scared pretty easily. But it wasn't just me. This is often thought to be the darkest adaptation of the character ever put to screen, and it's still haunting to this day. The show even won a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program. Not bad for a show about a malicious cat and a stupid dog sidekick. It starts off with Garfield watching Binky the Clown, when Binky reveals that tonight's the night where kids can go around door to door and get candy. Wait a minute. Did he say we could get a lot of candy tonight? This is Garfield's first exposure to Halloween, and as the day goes on, Garfield only gets more and more pumped. It really captures the excitement of being a kid and having to wait in school all day, just waiting impatiently until you got home from school so you could get into your costume and go trick-or-treating. He also realizes that if he brings along Odie, he'll bring home twice the candy, so he and Odie go to try on costumes. I could be handsome or brave, a king or a slave, it's all up to me. So what should I be? The show really takes off, obviously, when they start trick-or-treating. Every person they pass in the street is someone other than what they expect, which is really clever. Later that night, Garfield spots this huge mansion across the lake, and he and Odie decide that the bigger the house, the more candy they can get. They visit the house, and the night only gets creepier when they are greeted by an old, creepy man who recants a tale of pirates who buried their treasure in the mansion a hundred years ago, and who vow to return on Halloween night to reclaim it. This scares Garfield and Odie out of their wits, as the old man disappears, only to steal their boat, leaving them stranded. Before they know it, an actual ghost ship starts coming toward them. They find a hiding place, but Odie sneezes, revealing them to the ghosts. The ghost pirates chase them around the house and back out to the lake, where they have no choice but to jump off the dock. Odie actually carries Garfield to shore, where they find their boat and head back home. It's a heartwarming tale, with Garfield actually giving Odie his share of the candy at the end. It's really out of character, as Garfield himself states, but it actually makes for a really feel-good special. Everyone's seen It's the Great Pumpkin, so if you want something a little different, something that fully engulfs the spirit of Halloween and is five times as spooky, you need to check this one out.